Hey, what's up guys? Dennis Apple here with another video and in this one I wanted to show you how to do or how to get started with Twitter Outreach in 2025 completely for free and uh, basically tell you who it is for, who it is not for, how you can utilize it the best and uh, how you can get good results with it. Okay, so uh, let's get straight into it. Okay, so in order to get it for free, you can use uh, our tool that allows you to send 50 DMs for free. This is my plug for you. And you don't have to pay me, you can just use it for free. And this is what I wanted to do for people that just want to find a book of concept, right? So in Outreach, usually it takes a while before you can get the right strategy. And then it's all about scaling it up. So this is what I want to achieve and give you guys for free so you can get proof of concept first, no pressure, and then just scale up if you want to do that, okay? And uh, feel free to use whatever software you want. This is just uh, what I'm promoting. Now, in regards to who it is for, okay? So there are a lot of use cases that you can use through the outreach for, and people don't even realize this nowadays. It is still one of the most undervalued platform for outreach. In this day and age, people still don't know, don't know about it, and uh, it's extremely good for a lot of people, okay? So let me explain to you who it is good for and who it is not for, okay? So who it is not for? It's not for people that are targeting local businesses, okay? There are just not many people there that uh, own local businesses. It's just not easy to do that. Uh, it is mostly for people that are targeting online businesses or at least businesses that present themselves online and are uh, or at least the founders are there people that are on twitter you have to think about who it is who is there and therefore you can find good niches uh, for that so for example most customers that we have most users use twitter outreach to book more calls more, more sales calls this can be for their b2b businesses can be for their agencies uh it can be for whatever right but usually it's for their agencies like this is the most typical client now the next one would be to promote a website right so you can be promoting a SaaS, you can be promoting an e-commerce you can be promoting basically any website you can think of where you can just drive more traffic the important thing is to get relevant visitors right if you are getting people from pakistan and you're targeting people from us probably not relevant right so you can actually filter this out inside of xreacher if you go to uh, leads and want to scrape new leads, what you can do here, actually exclude third world countries, for example, if you don't want to target them. So you only target people from like USA, Canada, Europe, uh, and Australia, right? And uh, you can also nowadays exclude genders. So for example, if you just want to target males, you can target them. If you just want to target females, you can also target them. Now, with Xreacher, what you can also do nowadays is uh, have a unified Unibox. So if you have more than one account, this is going to be extremely useful for you. If you want to combine it, if, for example, for me, if you have multiple clients, you can uh, just filter by uh, tags here. You can also just filter by messages that are unreplied. Extremely uh, easy to do. I'm not going to go into detail much into extortion this video we can uh, watch some free guide that i did before or watch my brother how to set it up coming back to twitter so book calls promote website you can promote your newsletters this is a really effective strategy to gain more uh, newsletter followers it's one of the best ones i've seen out there it's uh cheaper than ads if you are doing correctly okay next one can be promote your content Okay, uh, this is what I've been doing before. You can be promoting either your tweets, you can be promoting your YouTube videos, you can be promoting whatever you think and whatever you like. And the fact that you can send up to 450 DMs per day, per account, and you can also send external links in the first message just gives Twitter outreach an unmatched ability to promote whatever you really want. Now, the last one that I think a lot of people sleep on is hiring people, okay? And let me explain to you how this works. Now, there are a couple of ways you can think of this. You can think of this as hiring people for key positions in your company. So for example, maybe you're working for VAs, you're working for uh, account key managers, you're working for uh, whoever you, you want. So you can be looking for setters, you can be looking for salespeople. There are a ton of people here that want to be doing these positions. Now you can also do this as a service, okay? 
if you are a recruiter, <laughs> recruiter, oh, okay, I'm not gonna try. If you are recruiting, you can use this as well to recruit more people, right? You are searching for people that have certain keywords in their bio that signifies what is their position, and you are trying to headhunt them. Maybe for other companies, you can sell this as a service. Now, next one is to hire, and this is what I think is the most uh, undervalued one right now, and I think where the biggest opportunity lies, and that is hiring people that are going to promote your stuff. Okay, this is essentially hiring affiliates, and this is what I found out is extremely good on Twitter nowadays because there are a lot of people that are posting content, and if you are one of those people that just want to focus on the business itself, on the operations, you don't really want to present yourself too much, you don't want to build up this audience from scratch, you can just leverage other people's audiences to promote your stuff for you. And how do you do that with uh, Twitter Outreach? You just, for example, go here, you find some big account on Twitter, I'm going to dive deep into that, but you can find an account to scrape and maybe just select like from 10,000 followers plus, plus or whatever, 20,000 followers plus, what do you think is significant number in your niche and you can be reaching out to 500 if you have like one account 500 people that have this amount of followers a day and if your offer is good to them you're 100 percent going to convert some of them right and if you even convert one two three people a day these people with one post can reach their entire audience right so that's another 10 20 000 people you can reach per day with them for free and if you're just scaling this up if you're sending thousands and thousands of messages a day recruiting more and more and more of these affiliates that are going to be promoting your product you can just arrive at unlimited scale okay and you're not even paying big money for this okay so this is also what you can sell as a service by the way you can sell all these things as a service on twitter so for example if you don't have if you cannot use this right now you can think of this as you selling this as a service to someone. You can sell, you can offer someone to find affiliates for the product. So this can be for e-commerce companies. This can be for like, for example, one of our clients, crypto company, looking for uh, influencers to promote their new project, right? This can be for service businesses. This can be basically for anything, almost anything out there. And I'm just trying to open your mind to the possibilities of Twitter Outreach. And we have not even reached everything yet. I probably don't know about a lot of use cases some users even do on our platform. So there's just so many things you can explore here. You just have to think about it from this perspective. So how it works. You firstly, like you need a Twitter account, right? Or like, by the way, you can buy Twitter accounts from us if you don't want to set it up yourself. You can just go here and buy an account that you want. Now, or you can set up the account yourself. I don't, I don't really care. In order to start with Twitter outreach, you have to realize if, like the most important part, I would say, is finding relevant leads, okay, with relevant off and then present them with the relevant offer. So finding relevant leads, how does it work? So you really have to go down a couple of rabbit holes, and I'm going to explain to you how that works and how you can do the same for you. So let's say, uh, what are we promoting? So for example, we can do the crypto example that I was just doing couple of weeks before uh, we managed to book in about 25 appointments in maybe four or five days for a client with the influencers I was talking about so let's say uh, how did it so for example you search for crypto you just search for the keyword right then you start seeing some bigger uh, accounts in the space so you start opening it up and you start thinking about who can be relevant right so in this case you're just looking for influencers that are following these accounts. And so our parameters are not really too narrow. So we can pretty much take any of these guys and see if they actually have some real followers. This is also important thing. This one seems, yeah, they probably have some fake followers, but it can still be all right. Now, what also is great with x Reacher is that you have unlimited amount of scrapes you can do per month. Okay. So, you don't have to pay for scraping, even if you are on the free platform, free version. Okay, so this is uh, what's crazy about it as well. And the DMs are being sent from cloud. So if you have experience without reaching from any other platform, you know that in many cases you have to download 
extension and you have to keep your bars alive, things like that. That's real annoying. On Twitter, you don't have to do that if you use like switcher. And uh, that's just really good. So for example, let's say we found this guy. 115,000 followers, looks good. Let's just uh, create a new lead list. And by the way, to find those people, I didn't completely explain this. So how you can do this is firstly find a couple of these first few people and then start looking into who they are following, okay? And then you will start getting into these rabbit holes. So for example, this one looks decent. This one, okay, all right. And you you will start getting lot and lot and lot accounts. And therefore you're able to find the best ones that you are really looking for. You can see their content, what they are posting about and think what type of followers are they gonna have. You can check their followers actually, and just start looking to them what are the keywords they use, right, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, entrepreneur, market free newsletter, uh, uh, Bitcoin. You see a lot of them use Bitcoin, right? So we can, for example, just select like, let, let's just do this, right? So we'll hit this guy and we scrape new leads. By the way, we can also upload your leads. So if you have scraped leads from somewhere else, you can upload them here and uh, use them inside a campaign. So here we can just do Bitcoin crypto now for example let's say we don't want nfts so we just exclude nft people who have nft in their bio now we can just exclude third world countries get followers from let's say 5000 plus that's enough in our case and let's say we just want a male so we in this case we would just exclude a female now the unknown is for profiles that don't really have their gender uh specified right so for example this account like you don't really know if it's a male or female. So these are type of accounts we, we don't really know about. You can exclude them as well, or you can uh, include them. I would recommend including those. And you can just initiate the scrape. Let's name it uh, Crypto Influencers Bitcoin, whatever it is. Initiate the scrape. Scraping started. It's already scraping if you reload the page you'll see that it's uh, scraping. Now, the next thing you have to do is go here in campaigns, starting campaign, name your campaign test. And uh, right now we have to wait for leads to scrape, but uh, I already have some of these pre-scraped, so we can just continue there. Uh, we can insert our script. So for the scripts, I can also give you a couple of tips. What if you think about when creating a great script? You think, have to think about who are you sending the message to? And most of all, you have to think about what's in it for them, right? So for example, if I'm promoting a crypto project and I wanna find more affiliates, what are these people listening to? They want money and they want uh, commitment. So you can see something like, hey name, uh, we created this project, this is what it's about. And uh, we are looking for people that uh, we can do paid promotions for. Would you be interested in me sending you like details of how this collaboration could look like? And this just like sparks the curiosity of the people, okay? You can do other things. So for example, if you are selling, what can you be selling? If you're promoting website, like website, for example, where you are selling proxies. So let's say you're selling proxies and you you have a website for that. To In order to promote it, you can send something like, hey, uh, we have the best proxies on the market out there. Would it be open to me giving you like a free trial on one of our proxy services for free? Let me know if I can send you the link to get to activate it for free, right? Like you have to create some offer that people are willing to jump on, even if it's on cold. You have to think about like, this is cold message. People don't know you, so they are gonna be more skeptical. They're gonna give you less time. So the messages have to be short. They have to be good offers and uh, then you just have to capture their attention. Okay, so these types of messages, don't write it as an email. Write it like two sentences, three sentences max, okay? And what I would recommend you to use actually is something that's called Hemingway app, app.com. We can just insert a script, right? I'm already feeling, I'm already testing it out here. And it, it will tell you, for example, 
this sentence is hard to read, right? This sentence is, is easy to read. And this way, you can just create script that is easy to read for people that they are going to reply to you. And also, once you have that script, you can just go to ChatGPT. Insert, insert it here the script and just generate me five more variations of this specific script. Okay. And if you do this, it's just going to generate you five more scripts. Maybe you tell it to like use different perspective, use different variations. And then you like one of variations, create five more variations like this. And then you start improving the script this way and you get more and more variations and then once you're ready with that, you just insert them here into x -Reacher. I'm just gonna go like a test campaign here. We don't really care what's uh, that about. So for right now, save. You can select one of the available accounts, I believe it's this one. Um, we can set up to send 450 DMs and uh, we can just start campaign. Okay, let's see if this account was running. Yeah, okay, so I already sent one message. So how it works is that uh, sends in one message. If you're sending it, for example, for the 450 messages, it spreads out the 450 messages uh, within a 24 hour window. So it sends, uh, I think every one message every four and a half minutes, something like that. If you're using multiple accounts, like 10 accounts, you can just put them all of them into one campaign and it's going to divide all the leads into uh, these accounts. And uh, then it's going to like send it from all the accounts at the same time and you don't have to worry about it. So if you just get a like big enough lead list, you can just set up campaign once and maybe uh, leave it there for a couple of days in weeks. Right now we are working on improvement where you're going to be able to edit the campaigns. You're going to be able to replace lead lists and basically be able to run campaigns for weeks without even touching them okay so this is an update that's coming uh, within two weeks i'm going to be recording videos about it soon and this is really going to break through uh the belief for a lot of people uh, how they look on outreach it's going to start looking more like uh, managing ads for example facebook or whatever platform right you won't have to care about leads as much you will just have to worry about what are the metrics we are getting how can we improve it and uh, just executing on that Okay, so I think this is it for this video. I just uh, wanted to go through things that were just, uh, I was just thinking about a lot during these past couple of weeks. And I'm definitely going to continue uh, publishing here on YouTube. Going to try out a lot of different strategies, not just stick with Twitter since that's my platform. I'm going to try to do as many platforms as I can so that I can bring you entertaining content and best of all, try to help you get the best results. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.